a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. East Coast Greenway The East Coast Greenway is a 3,000 miles biking and walking route linking the major cities of the Atlantic coast of the United States, from Calais, Maine, to Key West, Florida. The spine route and branching complementary routes are for non-motorized human transportation for everything from local commutes to long-distance trips. The non-profit East Coast Greenway Alliance was created in 1991. The entire route has been selected. As of July 2017, 900 miles, or 32% of the route, is off-road on traffic-protected greenways. The vision is for the entire trail to be off-road. History In 1991, a group of cyclists and long-distance trail enthusiasts met in New York City and formed a national non-profit organization, the East Coast Greenway Alliance, to plan and promote a greenway linking existing and planned trails into a contiguous, spine route, between Atlantic coast cities. In summer 1992, the ICA sent nine cyclists from Boston, New York City Vermont, and Washington DC, on a 30-day, exploratory, cycle tour. In 1993, tours went along the route to explore options and promote the idea of the greenway. In 1994, the first promotional tour took place from Maine to Washington DC, East Coast Greenway became a trademark in 1995. The first five trail segments were designated in 1996. These segments were the Baltimore and Annapolis Trail in Maryland, the Charter Oak Greenway in Connecticut, the Coventry Greenway in Rhode Island, the Farmington Canal Greenway in Connecticut, and the Delaware and Raritan Canal Trail in New Jersey. These trails make up 56 miles of the Greenway. Between 1997 and 2000, about 150 miles of trail segments were designated throughout the region. In 2000, Amtrak became a partner, helping to open access to various parts of the route. Between February and June 2000, the ECG Wave non-motorized relay carried a bottle of seawater from Key West to Canada along the route of the ECG. From 2001 to 2004, another 173 miles were designated and multiple states stepped in to help finalize their section of the route. This brought in more partnerships with government organizations, such as NSHDOT, that would be essential for trail development. In 2003, members of the House of Representatives and the Senate signed letters to President Bush in support of the Greenway. In 2004, seven cyclists rode the entire route, from Key West to Calais, in 55 days. Later that year, the first Maine to Florida tour was held. Four cyclists completed the event in 52 days, raising $75,000. In the following years, more people would complete the ride outside of ECG events. A 2005 GQ magazine article about a ride by Will Hilton brought national attention to the Greenway. The entire spine route was finalized and mapped in 2008. The accessibility of the trail expanded with support of the states and more events were held each year. As of 2017, 32% of the Greenway is off-road. Efforts to increase the amount of off-road routes are continuing. Route Major cities connected by the Spine Route are Other cities may be connected by Alternate Route in some locations. More information about the route can be found online at greenway.org. An online mapping tool is available at map.greenway.org. Maine Travelers start in Calais, Maine, at the Canada-US border, and pedal southwest through Ellsworth, where they can stay on the inland spine route through Bangor or veer off along a 150 miles coastal route. The routes rejoin north of Portland, then head on towards Portsmouth, New Hampshire. The route through Maine is 350 miles long, and 39% of that is currently off-road. New Hampshire Riders enter the state on the Memorial Bridge in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, and follow the coastline to Seabrook and then onto the Massachusetts border. New Hampshire has the shortest portion of the Greenway, about 17 miles, all on road. Massachusetts the Greenway enters the state near Salisbury, Massachusetts, and heads south towards Boston and then to Waltham. 
Next, it travels on from Worcester to the Rhode Island border. The route travels along the Charles River and past the birthplace of the American Industrial Revolution. Rhode Island The Greenway enters from Massachusetts on the Blackstone River Bikeway and follows the historic Blackstone Canal. It travels down to Pawtucket and then into Providence, where it goes around India Point Park at Narragansett Bay, and then on to Cranston. This 49 miles section of Greenway is 52% off-road, with another 30% being developed. Connecticut Connecticut has the most rural stretch of trail in the region. It runs through historic mill towns, such as Willimantic, and major cities like Hartford, New Haven, Bridgeport, and Stamford. Users can travel on the Farmington Canal Greenway to get to New Haven from Simsbury and then ride along the Long Island Sound as they exit the state. Currently, 28% of the 198 miles route is off-road, with an additional 28% in development. New York The New York segment starts in Westchester County and heads south into New York City through the Bronx and Manhattan. The route travels down sections of Broadway and along the Hudson River, which travelers can cross via the George Washington Bridge or by taking a NY Waterway ferry into New Jersey. New York is home to 44 miles of Greenway, with 62% of the route, the highest percentage on the Greenway, being off-road. In Manhattan, 90% of the trail is off-road. New Jersey the New Jersey section of the Greenway is accessed from New York across the Hudson River by the George Washington Bridge or Ferry, and from Pennsylvania by the Calhoun Street Bridge across the Delaware River. The route travels through Jersey City, Newark, New Brunswick, and Trenton while also traveling through rural areas. New Jersey has the second highest percentage of off-road trails at 54%. Pennsylvania the Greenway travels through the smaller towns of Bucks County, then through the city of Philadelphia, where it passes numerous historical landmarks and travels over Spring Garden Street, the city's most bicycle-friendly street. The route follows the Skewell Kill River Trail south towards Delaware. The 67 miles route is 31% off-road, but there is a third of the trail that has no route yet. Planning is being done to close the gaps. Delaware. The Greenway runs for 43 miles through Delaware. Greenway users travel down the Northern Delaware Greenway to historic Wilmington and continue on to the Christina Riverwalk. Next, travelers head to historic Newcastle and ride along the Newcastle Riverfront before reaching Newark and heading west towards Maryland. Maryland The route starts in Elkton, Maryland, and heads west to Perryville and the Susquehanna River. Travelers pass the Perry Point VA Medical Center and have great views of the Chesapeake Bay. Users cross the Susquehanna at the Thomas J. Hotem Memorial Bridge, but they are limited to crossing between dawn and dusk on weekends, holidays, and special events that have been arranged in advance. And they must be at least 18 years old or have a valid driver's license. Harvard are graces after the bridge, followed by Harford County, Moncton, and Cockeysville. Next, riders travel south through Baltimore and then on to Annapolis before finishing the 166 miles stretch of Greenway in Hyattsville and entering Washington, D.C. 32% of the route is off-road. District of Columbia From the Maryland state line, the Greenway follows the Metropolitan Branch Trail to Union Station and then the National Mall, the ECG's official midpoint. Greenway users can then travel on towards the Arlington Memorial Bridge over the Potomac River on the Mount Vernon Trail into Virginia. Just under half of the 8 miles segment through the district is off-road. The downtown area offers no off-road option. Virginia This segment travels from Washington, D.C. to Mount Vernon, heads towards Fredericksburg on the Potomac Heritage Trail, and continues on to the state capital of Richmond. At this point, the Greenway splits, the 300-mile spine route continues southwest to the Piedmont region of North Carolina. The alternate route, the 140 miles historic coastal route, travels southeast through Jamestown and Williamsburg, then towards Wilmington, North Carolina. North Carolina 
The Greenway's spine route travels south through rural North Carolina into the Research Triangle region, passing through Durham, Raleigh, and Cary. This section is on the American Tobacco Trail, which runs past the East Coast Greenway Alliance headquarters in Durham. The route continues southwest through the Sandhills region and into Fayetteville before following the Cape Fear River into Wilmington, and traveling along the coast. Alternatively, the historic coast route, entering from southeastern Virginia, moves onto the Dismal Swamp Canal Trail and follows the coast down through Greenville and Jacksonville before reaching Wilmington where the routes connect. The 372-mile spine route is 25% off-road at this time. Georgia Greenway riders in Georgia will use the coastal Georgia Greenway to travel from South Carolina to Florida. The route travels through Savannah, Richmond Hill, Midway, Riceboro, Darien, Brunswick, Woodbine, Kingsland, and St. Mary's. The 160 miles route is only 6% off-road, but has another 14% in development. There are 41 miles of gaps, but efforts are being made to connect the route. Florida the Florida section of the ECG starts in Fernandina Beach and travels south along the coast through small beach towns and major cities, such as Jacksonville and Miami. The route continues down through islands and bridges to the southernmost point of the continental United States, Key West. This segment of Greenway is 600 miles long, the longest of the ECG, and is 31% off-road. There is another 13% in development and another 38% in public control and is to be developed. There are some gaps. East Coast Greenway Alliance The East Coast Greenway Alliance is a non-profit organization that oversees, but does not own, the Greenway. The Alliance is based in Durham, North Carolina, next to the American Tobacco Trail. Six Greenway coordinators work remotely in their regions. The Alliance coordinates the Greenway's growth by working with local, state, regional, and national organizations and agencies. The Alliance is in charge of designating new trail segments and finding routes for the Greenway, posting signs designating the path, spreading awareness of the project, and providing maps and information about the Greenway. IGA advocates for safe access to bike paths on roadways and bridges, as well as convenient access to public transportation for cyclists. In addition, the Alliance promotes the use of alternate transportation, such as use of greenways. Learn more at greenway.org. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?